I just love when people come here and they look inside and think, wow, I had no idea. And that just shows, you know, we're doing something right. My name is John Jazak, and I'm the director and John and Phyllis Seaman Endowed Curator here at the official Mineral Museum of the State of Michigan. The A.E. Seaman Mineral Museum is a, a treasure that we have here locally that shows remarkable rocks and minerals that are just beautiful, but also really important and interesting for our lives. The Seaman Mineral Museum is part of Michigan Technological University, and we started as a mining school. So we've been keeping a complete collection of minerals from the Upper Peninsula and actually from the whole state of Michigan. In 2015, we acquired on a shared basis the University of Michigan's mineral collection, which is hugely important historically and even has a section of minerals from Douglas Houghton's personal collection. In our, our copper pavilion, there's a piece of copper that was found in Great Sand Bay. It's estimated to weigh about 34,000 pounds, 19 feet long. Recently, we also installed a small exhibit of mining artifacts, and there are all kinds of interesting things donated from uh, a couple of different donors, even a, a little of a dynamite box and a miner's boot and a copper heel. Well, for a few years now, it's been a wonderful revival of rock hounding in the area, as people have discovered there are minerals on the beaches that fluoresce in ultraviolet light. It's really easy to be able to have some fun on the beaches looking for these beach stones that have the mineral sodalite in it. And the sodalite fluoresces a beautiful orange color and often in many different kinds of patterns. This one's kind of interesting because it shows two different kinds of textures. One is like these little snowflake patterns or dendrites and the other are these linear features that are like fracture veins that got filled in by the mineral. Part of our mission is to educate people about the beauty and importance, significance and occurrences of minerals and then when they, they see their shapes and colors and textures, they're just captivated by it and I just want to continue giving that sense of inspiration both to kids and adults alike because it's, it's a wow factor like wow these are natural nobody actually carved these or polished them yeah that's right these remarkable specimens actually grow this way in the earth